Is it all good YouTube? It is. Mate, and welcome to Grey Wolf Fitness. Now you've seen the title, haven't you? Sue's put it up. What's the title, Sue? Christmas tag. We've been Christmas tagged by Kimmy Tis Me and Big Tony McNetty, strong man. So, we've got 10 questions. Hit me with the first one, Sue. What's your favourite Christmas candy? That was the chair, by the way, not me. You hear that? Yes, girl. Let me move a bit forward. Christmas candy. Um, everything. Everything? The whole lot. The whole lot. Chocolate. I don't. Chocolate and chocolate after eight minutes. All right, all right, all right. Quality street. All right, all right, all right. Heroes. Yeah. Celebrations. Celebrations. Heroes are my favourite though, because you get the little Mars Mars bars and, and Snickers and whatnot. I do like them. However, my big Achilles heel at Christmas is cheese and nuts. Anybody else? Are they like that? Who's here? Give us a comment down below because I'm a big cheese fiend. Aren't I, babe? Yep. I'm not though. I just love my cheeses. Sort of Go for it. Number two, what's your favourite Christmas movie? Now, I was only watching this the other night. Our favourite one, well, mine and Sue's, is Trading what Places. Is your favourite one? I don't mind it, but it's your favourite one. Yeah, but Jamie Lee Curtis gets them out twice. I know. I thought it was only once, but it's twice. It's Trading Places. Trading Places. Just for that moment. Just well, two moments, moments, actually. Moments. I'm easily pleased. Because I'm, shallow, very shallow. I'm not shallow. Every man's the same. Come on, Shit. give me another one. Okay, number three. What's your favourite Christmas tradition? Now we had arguments over this one. I said the Chinese food that we have on Christmas Eve. It's not a tradition. It is. We have Christmas. We have, we have Chinese food every Christmas Eve. And oh. you said, well, you should say the Christmas meal. And I had to agree with you in the end. But the Chinese food is a close second on Christmas Eve. Number four. Do you decorate outside? Well, technically, I don't decorate nothing. No, you do now. It's absolutely jot. Other than getting the Christmas tree down from uh, upstairs, that's about it. Yeah? You don't do anything. Ditto of cards. Love! And love! No love. card writing, no present wrapping, no nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's all left in moi. Love. Me, all of it. Christmas dinner, the whole shebang. Even me dad now washes up with you on Christmas Day. Love. That, yeah? Do you even get out of that? My expectations from the Wolf X is going down now. Well, it's a very hard to start off with, wasn't it? But that's, that's, but, no, that's, that's not me. That's the, that's the chair, by the way. don't particularly decorate outside. I have a wreath on the door. Now, this year I've got a little Christmas tree. We've got a little Christmas tree with little lights on. In fact, we've actually taken bets on how long it'll be before it gets stolen. It's been out there two weeks now, hasn't it? I'm shocked. I'm shocked as well. Yeah. If it's not nailed down round here, it's yeah. gone. Okay. Number five. Real or fake tree? Fake. Fake. Sorry. However, the cats still think it's a real one. Yeah, we've got five cats and they're all messing about with it and yeah. I'm just waiting they're for one of them. It's not only really that, you've got the little pine needles. I'm just waiting for one of them chewing through the lights. Well, it'll be fried cat. Won't fried it? cat. Number six, white or coloured lights. Coloured, definitely coloured. Definitely coloured. I don't coloured know, quite lights. like white, but. We've got white. I've got white lights in the back room. Yeah, white lights in the back room. On the tree in the back room, but coloured on this one. So both, actually. So both. Number seven. What's your favourite Christmas song? I'm going to go for Wham! Last Christmas. Yeah, I thought you liked the waitresses. And yes, and the waitresses. Merry Christmas. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You like banana. I like banana rama. A lot of people do, yeah. No, they won't. Um, number eight. Did kids, or oh, we haven't got grandkids, so did kids change your holiday mood? Without a shadow. Well, it certainly changed the wallet size anyway, that is for certain. Yeah. 
See, the thing is with kids, when they're small, the presents are huge. Yeah, huge boxes, loads of packing. You spend all Christmas morning just unpacking crap. Big kitchens, they want little hoovers, they want all that sort of stuff. And then as you get older, the presents get smaller but a lot more expensive. Yes. So take heed, anybody with small kids. As they get bigger, the presents get smaller, but they get more expensive. You see, Ellie's now 15 on the 28th. Going on 25. So. So, we, we, I do miss having the, you know, mince pies and milk and out for Santa and all that. Mm. I do miss that. We did hang on to her, knowing that Santa existed for quite some time. Yeah, she was 11. Yeah, that's quite, quite I old. I she's still dubious, but I found this fantastic website where you, you put in your child's sort of name and birthday and, and, and he sends you a proper message um, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he actually an email comes with all your personalised to your child so it gave us another year's grace but she was still dubious about it. Yeah, right? still dubious. But, no, it's all gone now. The magic's gone. The magic has gone now. We're just waiting to be grandparents. No, we're not. No, I'm not really. No, no I've got enough grey hairs. Right, she's 14. Listen, listen as well. That first boy that comes along, he's going to get the litmus test in the garage. Yeah. If he survives the garage, then fair enough. Okay, number nine. Do you open any gifts on Christmas Eve? No. Do you see the point? No, I'm, up on Christmas I'm, Day. I'm, I'm not. Uh, I don't even know what that's all about. I'm not a big fan of this new tradition of uh, gifts on Christmas Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve box. Yeah, really? stop that for a game of soldiers. Yeah, it's Christmas Day. Nothing Christmas Eve. Number 10. I tell you what, Sue, we've rattled through these. Go on. Yeah. Do you have any weird Christmas quirks? Not really. Not really. We do watch sort of the Harry Potter series leading up to it's Christmas, but I don't think it's a quirk, is it? Is it? It's, a quirk. it's more like of a tradition, isn't it, really? It's a, a quirk. He's got quirk. No, I don't think we have any quirks at Christmas. Can't think of any. Well, than the uh, Harry Potter series being watched. Maybe what we, we think is normal is quirk. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we're not normal, love. So on that note... we have got quirks, but don't know. Yes. So on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, share... Hang on, are we, gonna, are we supposed to be tagging people? Yeah, it says tag someone. Ooh, I'd love to see Kevin Clements do this as Drunk Santa. I know he's done a bit as Drunk, drunk Santa already, but this will be epic doing this 10 questions as drunk santa and anybody else that wants to do this because really it's a little bit late for this but i thought what the hell we're waiting for the final pictures for the cable body challenge to come through they're not quite there yet so look out for the cable body challenge final vid just after christmas it'd be like a, a belated christmas present for you all what do you mean oh god so on that note, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. What else, babe? Leave a comment. Leave a comment and we'll catch you next time.